hello guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be helping you to understand salmonella coccidiosis and white droppings in our chickens as most poultry farmers often misunderstood their symptom when treating those diseases so stay tuned and watch the video to the end i'll be back <music> first disease we are going to be discussing is the salmonella yes the salmonella salmonella is a bacterial disease caused by an organism called bacterium salmonella salmonella is also a disease that affects chickens of different age the symptom is number one weakness number two lethargy number three yellow diarrhea number four is sometimes greenish droppings <laughs> this is that for the symptom of salmonella i am here in this video to give you the symptom in order for us to be able to understand the difference between the symptom of these diseases as they are often related in symptoms and because of that farmer misunderstood them when treating the diseases so this is a symptom for salmonella symptom for coccidiosis coccidiosis is a protozoan causing disease it is caused by a protozoan organism one of the signs of coccidiosis is roofed feather yes roofed feather is one of the signs of coccidiosis the second sign of coccidiosis is bloody stool the third set sign of coccidiosis is brownish stool and many more signs of coccidiosis but these are often related signs of coccidiosis that is misunderstood with the polorum or the salmonella disease and the third disease which is not often seen as disease to me Although in some part it is disease and in some cases it is not disease, is white dropping. What does white dropping mean in our poultry farming? Now to balance the understanding between these three diseases, what is salmonella or polarium disease, what is coccidiosis and what is white droppings? Now when you are treating a salmonella disease, the reason why salmonella disease is often misunderstood with coccidiosis by poultry farmers or by beginners is because of their related symptom now a salmonella disease will bring out a symptom of diarrhea while coccidiosis also will bring out a symptom of diarrhea and if both diseases are bringing out a symptom of diarrhea how do we understand them in order to know what we are treating because sometimes you may be seeing something that you feel is coccidiosis, you are treating coccidiosis, but you see it will occur it, and you'll be wondering why you are treating coccidiosis and you are still seeing coccidiosis in your farm. This is because there's a disease that is having a related symptom with coccidiosis. The disease is a bacterial one and the coccidiosis is a protozoan causing organism disease. Now for the salmonella or the polorum disease, you see diarrhea and coccidiosis diarrhea too. But the difference between this diarrhea in both is the color of the diarrhea they poop out. For instance, if you see a yellowish diarrhea, it signifies salmonella or polorum disease. In some drug, you will not see salmonella, you will not see room you will often see paratyphoid this is because paratyphoid is a subset of a salmonella disease they have the same sign and they are from the same family it's just that paratyphoid is under the salmonella disease so when you are checking drugs for treatment of the bacterial disease you may not see it as polorum or salmonella you may see it as a paratyphoid it is still the same thing 
paratyphoid is a subset of salmonella or polio disease. Now, to understand coccidiosis, you often see something as brownish diarrhea. This is the difference. When people see yellowish too, they will go to treat coccidiosis. Meanwhile, their chicken is having a bacterial disease and they are treating a protosome disease. So this is their difference. The salmonella is yellowish stool, while the coccidiosis is brownish stool. Some other symptoms to differentiate them is the bloody stool. Coccidiosis is often associated with the bloody stool. One other symptom to differentiate it also is the greenish stool. The salmonella sometimes, not in all cases, we often drop greenish stool. Now let's go on to the white poop or the white diarrhea. What does this really mean? Because a chicken that is having salmonella will often drop white poop. The one that is having coccidiosis will drop white poop. So what does white poop really mean in treating disease? First, I would like to say it is not all white poop that are disease. Yes. White poop is a lack of the color pigment in the stool of the chickens. This is due to lack of feeding or when your chickens have been starved for a long period of time. If they are dropping any droppings, what you will see alone is white droppings. This is it. And white poop also can be a sign of kidney or liver problem. So white poop also can indicate kidney or liver problem. But white poop, in most cases, in order for you to understand what white poop really means, make sure that before your chickens are dropping white poop, you have not starved them for any long period of time. And now, to understand coccidiosis again, it is not all watery diarrhea that are coccidiosis. If it's a watery diarrhea, like I've said, you see it brownish, bloody, or somehow not sticky in somehow the poop will not be thick or as it normal color that is coccidiosis but in a situation where you see your chickens dropping a real liquid poop that looks like water it is not coccidiosis one may be due to too much of vitamin in the drinker or in the feed second may be due to too much of water intake your chickens may be okay but dropping a watery poop that looks like ordinary water just white is like look like ordinary water it means your chickens have drink lots of water or they are having too much of vitamin or you've given them too much of vitamin so this is the little i thought to share about the understanding of these three diseases as farmers often misunderstood them when treating them so i hope this have helped you to have a basic understanding in treating this disease as a beginner or a poultry farmer. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification and like this video. Thank you for watching today's video. Catch up in the next one. Bye.